Hey, it's Dead Guy Cardboard. I have a 90s insert video. Uh, before I start though, I wanted to show off this um, case I got from the Mag Case Company. Um, it's pretty sweet. I, I sent them a uh, high res scan of the um, 1996 Mirror Gold. Um, it turned out pretty well. Um, yeah, if you go to the Mag Case on Instagram, you can message this guy and he makes them um, by hand. It's wood. You can pick the color of the wood and you can even pick like different finishes. I just wanted to keep it pretty simple, but it's, uh, I'm pretty happy by this box. So this is what holds all of my uh, Barry Larkins. Um, yeah, I got like PSA stuff here, some of his um, uh, serial number cards, and then some of the better stuff in the mag cases, um, the one touches. And then these are some sort of like miscellaneous Barry Larkins as well as some other 90s inserts. Um, but yeah, I don't really have any plans of filling up this whole box. I don't think I do. I'm trying to keep this Barry Larkin collection rather small and just pick up the good stuff. Um, but I love this case. Highly recommend picking one up if you're a player collector or you, you, you know you can put anything on this like a Yankees logo or basketball logo, etc. All right, so without further ado, I had some pretty big 90s insert pickups. I'll start with some of the small stuff. This card I, I sold a couple years ago. I don't know why. Um, this is just tough to locate. Uh, this is 1996 Pinnacle Summit shortstop positions. This is out of uh, 1500, which back in 1996 is actually pretty tough. Um, these actually have a pretty high, um, I think you get like five points or something, five times the points. If you grade it on the registry, it's tough to grade. Um, and then I got this 1997 Donruss Gold Press Proof. These are out of 500. Not too tough to find. But these next cards are some classics. Uh, this is the 1999 Flare Ultra um, Platinum Medallion. These are out of uh, 99. Platinum Medallions are a very um, classic parallel from the 90s. It started in 1997, but then in 1998, 1999, they started to actually serial number them out of 99. And there's some one of ones too. Actually, the 101 in Barry Larkin was listed a year ago, and it, I'm so mad I didn't pick it up. It got listed twice. I think I missed out on the first one, and I just thought it was a little too much. And the second one, it doubled in price. I believe Nate Turner, the guy that has this incredible collection of high-end, vintage, and modern, picked it up. But, uh, yeah, 1999 is tricky with the 101s, because I think there's, like, two of them printed. I think some got backdoored. But this is just the uh, Platinum Medallion. But Platinum Medallions in your player, especially from 1998 and 1999, are tough to come by. And then I picked up this 1999, uh, or 1990, sorry, Leaf Preview of Barry Larkin. These Leaf Preview cards are tough, tough to find. Um, Griffey has one in the uh, has one of these in the sets. But uh, I think the Barry Larkin is the most unique. I believe Barry Larkin may be another player. The Leaf preview version is a different photo than his 1990 Leaf. And there weren't a whole lot of these made. These were distributed to, um, I think, retailers and people at the you know, convention centers. And uh, they're very tough to grade, too. I, don't, I think there might be one PSA 10, but this one looks really sharp. I don't know if it will get a 10, but... A lot of times the leaf previews are um, not well centered. This is very well centered and uh, pretty sharp corners. So I have it in Ultra Pro because I'll eventually get it graded. Along with a bunch of other um, 
Larkin cards and a few other things. Um, so this card would have been my best pickup. I don't know. I kind of debated what, what is my best pickup lately, but so uh, this is one of them. This is um, the 1997 uh, Flare Legacy uh, Row Zero. Now, this is just a huge card. Um, reason being, 1997 Flare came out with um, this set and the Legacy set. So there's a row. Uh, zero, one, and two, and um, each one of those have a parallel out of a hundred called the Legacy. And they're pretty tough to come by, especially from 1997. And uh, yeah, they're out of a lot of a hundred. And this is also the first year of masterpieces that were ever made. Never even seen a masterpiece of Larkin from this set. Um, but the row zero is the most desirable. Legacy out of because they made them in 1997, 1998, 1999. Other than the Masterpiece 101s, the Row Zero from 1997 is the most desirable Legacy. Um, even though you know the one from Row One and Row Two are also out of 100, so this one's not any more scarce technically. Um, the Row Zeros go for a lot more um, in any player. I think like the this guy on eBay was selling a bunch of Row Zero Legacies. He he still is. Um, the the um, the Griffey sold for a ton of money, and I was happy to pick this up because I I got this for. I I think the last time I I some people would never see um, the Row Zero Legacy in their player. I saw a Larkin maybe three years ago, and it went for three hundred fifty dollars. Um, in hindsight, I wish I had picked that up because I was I just knew I wasn't going to find one for a long time, but I, I snagged this up, got it at auction for $70, and I, I just threw out like a $100 best offer, and he actually um, said yes, so I got it at a huge discount. Um, and it's in a pretty good shape. Um, that's why I have it in a top loader. I think I'll eventually get it graded. Um, I don't know if I get a 10, but I'll probably get a 9. Um, so very happy with that. And then, this is on my, like, I have, like, a... This car was on my top ten most wanted list for a long time. And this was on, like, my top five most wanted list. Um, so stoked to get this. This is the grand finale from 1997. Um, it is... I wish I had... Well, I guess I do. Well, I'm not going to go through this box, but... Um, it's called the grand finale because... This part is in gold. If I tilt it, you can see it's in gold. Whereas the regular gold hologram, this part's just in kind of black, a matte black finish. But you can tell this is, this is the grand finale because if you tilt it, it's still in gold. So this entire car, car is in gold. Um, love this set. I just I wish it would start making these cards again. It's such a cool technology. Um, this is the last year they did it, and that's why they made this little hologram really big. I mean, compared to other years, it's much smaller. Um, but stoked. These are out of a print run of 50. They're not serial numbered, but um, very, very hard to find in your player. Um, and some guy on Freedom Cardboard reached out to me and said he had one. And um, never even seen one. Although one is now up on eBay for a pretty high price, um, popped up right after I bought this, but I got this for a great price. Um, so stoked to pick this bad boy up. And uh, yeah, also happy to pick up this, this box. So that is it, thanks for watching.